Welcome to the 2025 World Solutions Challenge Award Ceremony. My name is April Mickley. I serve as the Executive Director of Future Problem Solving. I am very proud and honored to be here to celebrate the incredible work of students from around the world who have demonstrated immense creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking throughout this year's challenge. This year, we brought together students from 20 geographies across the globe, representing eight countries, including our first time participants from the country of Colombia. Students have competed in two divisions. In the junior division, we have fifth and sixth graders, and in the middle division, we have seventh and eighth graders. What's extra special about the students this year is they are new to future problem solving and have not previously competed in our signature Global Issues program. The World Solutions Challenge is intentionally designed to introduce new students to the future problem solving experience, giving them a chance to explore an important global issue, work collaboratively, and apply the creative problem solving process for the very first time. Over a three week period, teams of two, three, or four students work together to research the topic of rising sea levels important STEM topic reminds us that the future of our planet depends on the choices we make today. Rising sea levels affect coastlines, ecosystems, and communities across the globe, challenging us and our students to protect both people and the planet. Each team then selected one challenge they believed representing an underlying problem. They then developed a detailed action plan to address a portion of it. Their submissions showed how they would implement their solutions, including steps, resources, and creative ideas to make the real change. Our students explored innovative responses, such as floating cities, restored wetlands, and sustainable infrastructure, showing that the research and creativity and collaboration can lead to powerful solutions. Their work demonstrates not only deep understanding, but also optimism and courage in tackling one of the world's greatest environmental challenges. Our entries were judged on several criteria, including the development and depth of the thinking in their action plan, how clearly and thoroughly they supported and explained their ideas, and the degree to which their plan addressed the underlying problem that they identified At this time, I would like to announce our winners. Based on the judges' feedback and the high scores of so many teams beyond the first, second, and third place winners, we have several honorable mentions. I will also recap the prizes after I share all of our winners and excerpts from the first place team's supplemental item. In the junior division, I am very proud to award Honorable Mention, We Have Small Things Save Lives, Preparing for Rising Sea Levels. Students Aridaya, Naila, Sadhana, Team Planet Protectors from Fowler Middle School and Riddle Elementary School in Texas. Team Planet Protectors focused on the impact of floods on human lives their solution, Small Things Save Lives, centers around preparing communities for floods before water reaches homes. In response to the topic situation and the 2024 Texas floods, this solution provides families with flood alarms, floaties, emergency food packs, and more. Their plan is to use simple items to save lives. Another honorable mention in the junior division Offshore Ridge with a reshaped sand beach. Max, Sadwick, and Theodore. From Johnson Park Elementary School in New Jersey. This team explored ways to protect homes while maintaining safety, affordability, and environmental balance. Their solution combines an offshore ridge with a reshaped sand beach. The offshore ridge, made from limestone boulders, repurposed ships, or oyster reefs, 
breaks waves and reduces erosion while supporting marine life. The reshaped beach, sloped gently and planted with dune vegetation, slows waves and prevents flooding. Honorable mention, underground mechanism to raise lower buildings. Sanish and Shrey, the crew from No Middle School and Kentucky Country Day School from Kentucky. The crew addressed the issues of schools and companies shutting down because of problems with their systems like flooding offices and malfunctions. With their solution, a system is built below buildings that corresponds to the sea levels rising. When sea levels go high, the building rises as well. The same goes for lowering. Congratulations to our junior honorable mentions. In third place, junior division, we have floating cities and seawalls. Students Anadita, Indigo, Isra from Cedar Hill Prep School in New Jersey. The team is using floating cities and seawalls to provide options for coastal areas to use more energy efficient systems for water, food and transport, to slow global warming, as well as limiting greenhouse gas emissions and making deforestation a crime. In second place, Junior Division, smart drains to keep routes open. Students Claire, Ella, Jasmine, and Serena from the Diocesan School for Girls, New Zealand. Team focused on decreasing the chance of communities with only one main access road to being isolated. Their solution adds pressure plates on drains that can detect when sudden surges of water occur and alerts government officials and local authorities early so they have time to prepare and warn communities if sea levels are rising. The drains also use porous rubber layers to soak up extra water, reducing surface flooding. And in first place for the junior division, the Coastal Green Shield Initiative. Alexandra, Maya, Simone, from Robert E. Willett Elementary in California. The team's initiative combats the effects of rising sea levels by planting self-tolerant vegetation in coastal communities. Let's listen to an excerpt of their supplemental audio recording to learn more directly from the students. Every year, more and more land is lost from coastlines around the world due to flooding and erosion. Walls and barriers may help, but they often do not last and can be a threat to the ecosystem. That is why our team invented Coast Green Shield. It is a nature-powered, simple plan to protect our shores. Instead of building more walls that could potentially hurt the ecosystem, we create new life. We plant native and salt-tolerant vegetation. These plants will naturally absorb excess water, aerate the soil, and release moisture back into the air. The roots will strengthen the shoreline, reducing flooding and providing new places for birds and sea life to thrive. Congratulations to all our Junior Division winners. Now let's meet the Middle Division winners. Honorable mention, Super Absorbent Flood Barrier. Students Adrit, Annie, Caitlin, Kiani. Team Tricky Turtles. Holstrom K-8 School, Colorado. Team Tricky Turtles focused on the impact of flooding on coastal areas. Their plan creates ways to use floodwaters to benefit the community. The plan consists of a super absorbent barrier that serves as a floodgate. The barrier absorbs water, transports it to a reservoir, and then allows the water to be collected. Team Tricky Turtles focused on the impact of flooding on coastal areas. Their plan creates ways to use floodwaters to benefit the community. 
The plan consists of a super absorbent barrier that serves as a floodgate. The barrier absorbs water, transports it to a reservoir, and then allows the water to be used for hydroelectricity and drinking water. Their supplemental submission used hand-drawn comics to bring their action plan to life. Honorable mention, Coastal Ecosystem Restoration Project, Azal, Sahazra, Samaria, Cedar Hill Prep School, New Jersey. This team chose to focus on the growing threat that rising sea levels and pollutions pose. Their plan restores and maintains mangroves, wetlands, dunes, and coral reefs to create natural defenses against sea level rise. Honorable mention, Otto Orca, the robot, Helen and Zhao, National Junior College, Singapore. A plan to work with engineers to create a robot that helps desalinate seawater into clean water while monitoring the increment of sea level. Auto Orca, the robot, turns the excessive seawater due to sea level rise into useful resources. Their submission included detailed diagrams of their robot. Third place, middle division, aqua freezing. Agashtha, Shavad, Vedant, Yajur, Cedar Hill Prep School, New Jersey. Their solution, aqua freezing, is a technique that freezes ice sheets to prevent them from melting. They plan to implement aqua freezing on the Greenland ice sheet using subglacial lakes and aquifers as the water source instead of seawater since the ice sheet is the largest contributor to sea level rise. Second place, Bangkok Smart Barrier and Wetland Restoration Program. Alaya, Casey, Anish, Cedar Hill Prep School, New Jersey. This team's central issue is infrastructure. Our coastal elevation and wetland restoration program brings local governments, residents, and environmental groups together to elevate homes, restore mangroves and salt marshes, and build natural buffer zones made of dunes and vegetation. These natural barriers can absorb storm surges, prevent erosion, and protect communities. Starting in the most flood-prone areas, the program will expand over five years to strengthen resilience and safeguard both people and ecosystems. First place, middle division, parametric payouts for livelihood continuity. Arjun and Sai, Gum Spring Middle School, Virginia. Our top middle team identified ways to reduce flood-driven income and asset losses so that local livelihoods remain stable during coastal floods. Let's listen to them describe their solution. They chose to submit an audio recording as their supplemental item. Today, we're tackling a big question. How can coastal livelihoods in the Caribbean and Hawaii stay stable even when high tide flooding and storms hit. We've seen what floods do. Wages vanish, markets close, inventory spoils. Our underlying problem asks how to reduce flood-driven income and asset losses so families and small businesses can keep working by 2030. Our top solution is parametric payouts for livelihood continuity. That means Island governments and local credit unions partner with insurers to offer low-cost micro-insurance. We pair the financials with practical supports that keep markets open. Everyone has a role. The government leads policy and subsidies. Credit unions handle enrollment and wallet payouts. Insurers provide the parametric product and capital. Disaster agencies verify triggers and send alerts. Chambers and NGOs onboard vendors run equity outreach, and manage micrograms. What changes if we do this? Fewer days closed, faster recovery, steady income. That's livelihoods protected during coastal floods. Thanks for listening. Congratulations to all our winners. 
as you can see, our teams approach the problem of rising sea levels with different perspectives, and their solutions demonstrate creativity and flexibility in their thinking. A very special thank you goes to the Glenn W. Bailey Foundation for supporting our students as they prepare to become future ready problem solvers. Through their generosity, students explored the issue of rising sea levels from multiple perspectives, environmental, scientific, technological, and engineering, helping them see complex interconnections behind this global challenge. Due to the foundation's support, students on both first place teams and one chaperone will each receive $500 towards registration to attend our 2026 International Conference this June. Congratulations! At Indiana University, students will collaborate with problem solvers from around the world in our multi-affiliate Global Issues Competition, or what we like to call MAGIC. The top three winning teams in both divisions will receive individual medals and one complimentary entry to compete in the Global Issues flagship competition this season with the Future Problem Solving Affiliate supporting their location, plus a complimentary set of competition topic materials. These are eight individual items that include research and activity topic units. The first place winners and their action plans may be showcased on our website. Additional teams receiving honorable mention in each division will earn individual certificates with the distinction noted and a complimentary coupon for a free set of competition topic materials. All teams successfully completing the 2025 World Solutions Challenge will receive individual certificates as well. Our heartfelt thanks goes to the judges who made this experience so meaningful. These professional judges provided authentic feedback using formal scoring rubric and narrative comments that will help students understand their strengths and provide them input on areas for growth. Their thoughtful perspectives guide students to think critically, act creatively, and prepare for their future roles in a rapidly changing world. Our judging team represented a wonderful variety of viewpoints, including future problem-solving board members and professionals from environmental and sustainability fields. We are deeply grateful for their time and expertise in judging the students' innovative approaches to rising sea levels. Every student, every coach, and every judge, thank you for being part of this year's World Solutions Challenge. You have shown what it means to think boldly act compassionately, and imagine a better future for our planet. As we look ahead, we invite you to continue exploring big ideas through our Global Issues Program. Registration is still open. Next year, the World Solutions Challenge will take on a new frontier, invasive species, a topic sure to spark creativity and curiosity. Coaches and teachers, if you'd like to bring rising sea levels to your classroom, please reach out to us. This year's materials will be available in our store early in 2026 and perfect for your own DIY problem solving adventures. As we conclude our award ceremony, congratulations once again to all the participants and thank you for being part of a community that's creating positive futures, one problem at a time. Thank you.